You're watching Eyewitness News at 11 on WUTR. Welcome back to Eyewitness News at 11. With the New York State budget deadline just two weeks away, high-ranking lawmakers met for a conference today. Capital correspondent Jamie DeLine was in the room and tells us what was discussed. On Monday in Albany, New York State's top legislative leaders gathered to speak about the proposed Senate and Assembly budgets that passed last week. The Senate majority budget rejects education cuts and supports New Yorkers from cradle to college, provides real housing solutions to increase supply, while it protects tenants and homeowners. While Republicans are happy that Democrats in both houses rejected the governor's plan to make changes to school aid, overall, they think the state is spending too much. The $233 billion budget proposed by the governor in January was already unprecedented in size and scope. The Senate added a staggering $13.2 billion. In the Assembly, Minority Leader Will Barkley agreed and criticized the governor's proposal to take $2.4 billion from the state's reserves to provide services for migrants and asylum seekers. Every legislative conference agrees that state revenues are coming in stronger than projections, so why are the majorities proposing raising taxes and the governor proposing dipping into our emergency reserves? There's no rational financial need. We're told both Stuart Cousins and Hasty